Hello, I'm David from GeekThis.net, and today in Adobe Photoshop, we are going to create a grid pattern. To begin, let's create a new document. The dimensions of this document have to be the size of one cell plus a pixel. And the cell size has to be an even number. For this tutorial, I'm going to use a cell size of 50 pixels, so I'm going to set the width and height to 51. Once your new document is created, you want to create a new layer. Click on the Marquee tool and select the Single Row Marquee tool. Place it in the middle of your document. Go to the Paint Bucket tool and set the defaults of the colors to black and white. On your new layer, you want to create that row to be black and create another layer and create a vertical line instead. Once that's done, you want to make sure the dimensions of each box is half the size of the cell that you want. So each of these should be 25 by 25 pixels. If you're using Adobe Photoshop CC, you can use the Marquee tool because it shows the dimensions along with it, which is 25 by 25. If you're using an older version of Photoshop, you want to select the Ruler tool, and you can create a diagonal line, which will show that the width and height are 25 pixels. Since that's correct, we can move on. If it's incorrect, you will want to adjust the positioning of the vertical and horizontal lines. Now, let's hide the background layer, right-click on any of the visible layers, and click Merge Visible. Now, go to Edit, Define Pattern, and name it anything you want. I'm going to name it Grid 50. Let's create a new document so we can test this out. Go to your Paint Bucket tool, in the drop-down mode, go to Pattern, and select the new pattern you created. And as we can see, we have a repeating pattern across our document. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button below. And until next time, goodbye.